What's the Master Chef Rendang Chicken Row? Here is what you want to know about the backlash, and also how a rendang chicken ought to be cooked. Master Chef has sparked a race row after a Malaysia born contestant was sent home over her ingestion of the chicken stew. The Master Chef judges caused an uproar when they eliminated Zalia Kadir Alpin who lives in Bristol, in the quarter-finals of the 2018 competition on March 25. The 48-year-old amateur chef cooked rendang chicken as part of a nasi lemak, considered to be Malaysia's national dish. When it came to critiquing the dish, in which the meat is traditionally stewed, Greg Wallace told her, the chicken skin isn't crispy, it can't be eaten, but all the sauces on the skin I can't eat. John Tarot, meanwhile, called it a mistake before eliminating her. Ex-accountant Zalia defended her dish on Instagram, writing, Gutted to be eliminated on hashtag MasterCafook but I stand by my traditional way of cooking Nasi Lemak. Will not change it for the world. The decision has sparked an uproar online with Malaysians accusing the judges of cultural line sensitivity and whites planning. Now even Malaysia's Prime Minister Najib Razak has waded into the row, tweeting a picture of the curry and asking, Does anyone eat chicken rendang crispy? Hashtag Malaysian food. In response, a BBC spokesman said, Greg wasn't suggesting the dish should traditionally have crispy skin. He was saying he couldn't experience the flavors as presented. Rendang chicken is also popular in Indonesia. Should rendang chicken have crispy skin? No, rendang chicken should not have crispy skin, although we should note Greg was only commenting on Zaila's dish, and not the Southeast Asian speciality as a whole. Alan Chu, the owner of Malaysian restaurant Raza Siong, in London's Chinatown, told the Irish Examiner, the skin of the chicken always remains. It's our personal opinion that chicken cooked with the skin on provides a fuller flavor, even if you remove the skin after cooking. The skin of the chicken should be soft and tender. At no point in time do we deep fry or grill so crispy skin on the chicken is impossible to achieve nor is it desirable for a chicken rendang dish. How do you make rendang chicken? If you want to recreate Zaila's dish, why not try this recipe from Serious Eats at home? Make a paste from lemongrass, shallots, garlic, turmeric galangal and chilies and mix in a food processor, you may have to add water. Cut the chicken, with skin on, into slices and pat dry with a paper towel. Heat oil in a pan, before adding cinnamon, star anise and the paste. Add coconut milk, palm sugar, lime leaves and salt. Bring to the boil. Then reduce the heat and simmer for 20 minutes. Add the chicken and simmer for an hour and a half, stirring every 20 minutes. Reduce the heat and brown the chicken in coconut oil, for 15 to 20 minutes, stirring every 5 minutes. Et voila! Louise Craig makes impressive meatballs on MasterChef 